everyone, thanks for watching Relocate with Beth. And today I am going to take you with me on a grocery shopping trip. So you can see behind me Organica. Um, we don't have everything everywhere. And in some cases, especially if you're like super uber picky like me, um, you have to go to three different places to complete your grocery list. So that might not be as convenient, maybe like in North America or Europe or wherever you may be. Um, but the good news is we do have everything. Sometimes you just have to make multiple stops to get it. Um, I just went into Organica. They're not letting me film, but I did get some of my like super special items. It is a little higher priced, um, but I always start there and get like my organic olive oil, um, a few other items. Um, and then I am going to head to Reba Smith, which is in the same plaza. It is a specialty grocery store as well. And then I'll kind of show you the items that I get there and we'll end up buying some local produce and hopefully you can get a good overview of the whole shopping experience. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we are gonna go into Reba Smith. I will try to sneak a few shots um, to get you an idea. Also, Isis Food. Besides that, um, this is an awesome place to get some greenery. Um, they've got like herbs and indoor outdoor plants. So yeah. All right, let's go inside. All right, so here we got produce. So I usually try to get my produce at the stands, but obviously there's some items that I get here that you can't find at the local like Haas avocados, which I can't live without. Another thing that I always pick up here is lemons. And like special hydroponic lettuces. So I usually get those items from here. Um, kale as well. So here we have our dairy meat section. And um, here's a lot of different imported cheeses. And then you have like deli cuts right here. Okay, so I just spent $63 and I got two bags of stuff. But I got chicken broth, some of it a little more pricey stuff, obviously some sweet treats, um, some organic crackers, arugula, whipping cream, avocados, smoked salmon, lots of lemons, some chicken, some roast beef. So like I said, it can be a little more pricey. This is where I get like my specialty items and then I save money at Ray and buying local produce, which is where we will go now. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are in front of the Ray, which has a, li a bit larger selection than Riva and I find the prices to be lower. So, come on. So here we are in Ray. As you can see, it's a lot larger than Reba Smith. Let's go get some food. So there's an awesome, awesome bakery. Um, they have great food, great bread that they make every day. And then um, there is a meat market, kind of seria. Forgot how you say that in English. <laughs> a meat area. Come on, y'all. Help me with the word. Um, there's also a deli. And then you have quite a bit of produce. Um, lots of dairy products. Frozen food section. So it's very, very complete. Okay, so I just left the Ray and I spent $53.88. Um, I got butter, it can be expensive, deli cheese almond milk um i did get red potatoes because they don't come out all that often and i love them so they weren't on my list i do try to follow my grocery list but sometimes in panama you have favorites and you, when you see them you gotta grab them um some string cheese like snack i got 
um, some popcorn and chips, some different seasoning packets for cooking, some tomato sauce and a baguette. Popcorn, my favorite snack ever. So that was $53. Now I will go and get my produce from the produce stand. So see you in a minute. Okay, so it's like so loud. I'm right off the main highway. I just left the photo stand. I got some mangoes, some tomatoes, limes, bananas, um, celery. They spent a whopping $7 from our friendly local, local produce stand. Okay, so if you made it this far, bless you. Um, today was kind of a weird shopping day for me because I have like a lot of fish in my freezer. I have already a lot of produce. Like I spent $7 on produce, but I usually spend about 20 or 30. Um, I bought more snacks than I usually do. Um, but I'm sure it's the same for you every week. If you're like me, I go through my pantry, my fridge, and I just supplement, um, using what I have. Um, that's how I make my list. So I will admit, obviously this video might be like not valuable at all for some of you, especially like if you have a vegan lifestyle, vegans here, you can probably eat for $50 a week. I usually spend around 150 a week. Um, today I spent around 130. Um, so I do love to cook. It's very therapeutic for me. It's one of my favorite things to do. I do make a lot more gourmet style meals, if you will. So I do tend to buy imported items, which are about 30% more expensive um, than in the US or whatever country they come from. Um, so again, if you are on a budget or if you are pretty simple, you don't like to make everything complicated and just have very simple, easy to prepare meals, um, you can probably get away with $100 a week. But more so than just cost, I kind of wanted to show you guys, hopefully you have some type of feeling of what you can get. Um, I didn't cover, there's three other grocery stores in the area, one being very specialty, um, similar to Reba Smith called Deli Gourmet. And then there's also Machitaso, which I call like our local Walmart. Um, and then there is Super 99, which is similar to the Ray. It's more local. Um, you can find some better prices, but yeah. That is grocery shopping with Beth. <laughs> um, I hope you found this video useful. Again, I know that I haven't been uploading videos consistently and I really, really apologize. Um, I did become owner of Tri Panama, so my husband and I bought the company. So we've been like super busy getting our team together, putting systems into place, changing um, over partnerships. So I apologize for that. All of you are really special to me. And actually in my career, this YouTube channel is one of my favorite things to do. So I am going to start dedicating time. I wanna do some interviews with expats. Um, I wanna to continue to do informative videos. And if there's anything that you want me to do a video on, drop a comment, let me know. Um, and thank you again for watching. Don't for forget to subscribe and I hope you have a blessed day until next time. Bye-bye.